Uh, thank you very much, Madam President. Um, Madam President, I, am, I, I rise in full support of this piece of legislation as a study or in any other way. Um, people, I, it was alluded to that uh, I might have a little bit of uh, personal knowledge about the Department of Corrections, and in fact, I worked at seven correctional facilities and I have been inside in the capacity of working with uh, staff in every single correctional facility in the state and some outside the state. And uh, it has been well known that there were two uh, special needs that were un that were not properly assessed prior to incarceration that are very prevalent, and that is dyslexia and autism. Uh, so I'm hoping that when this study is done that we can move on to finally addressing the issue. And I think the issue really needs to be, that really needs to be brought into this study is where were these people going to school and why was this not figured out while they were in an elementary or secondary education? It seems to me that um, many of them from an anecdotal basis were belittled for their lack of ability to understand the printed word, not through visual means, but just in uh, grasping the knowledge of the visual of that word. That is not acceptable that we have people graduating from elementary and secondary education uh, without a, a real ability to read. Uh, that impacts every single piece of elementary education, whether it is math or science or language of one form or another. And uh, I think it's about time uh, that we stopped uh, pushing this down the road and uh, treating people when they're in the appropriate place, not waiting until uh, they become incarcerated as a result of figuring they were never going to make it by any other way. And that is something that should be done when children are in school in the elementary and secondary education uh, format, not uh, when they become incarcerated. Uh, that's when we really should address this issue. But I'd really like to know what school did they come from that was uh, not doing their job and not recognizing that young people were suffering. Uh, I look forward to the passage of this bill, Madam President, and thank you very much. Thank you so much.